Would you like to know how to add Stinger transitions to OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS? We're gonna cover that in today's video, so stick around. What's happening? This is Dale here with Live Streaming Tech, and not too long ago, we did a video about how to create Stinger transitions hiring someone on Fiverr. Now, some of you might have picked up the Stinger transition and going, what the heck do I do with this now? Where do I slip it in? Well, chances are very likely if you've got OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS, I've got your answer. So let's get behind the dashboard. Here's how to install the Stinger in OBS. You're going to open up OBS Studio, then click the plus symbol under Scene Transitions. Select Stinger, title your Stinger if you want, and then click OK. Click Browse and find your Stinger file. Then click OK. Select the transition point type by clicking the drop down. I prefer frames instead of seconds, it's just a little bit less finicky. And you may have to play with the settings a bit before you find the right number of frames for a seamless transition. Now set your number of frames. I chose 100. Now switch your scene to see how well it performs. I actually have an Elgato Stream Deck and I was able to press one of the buttons here and you can see it's smooth transition right over there. Once you're set, you're ready to go live. Now keep in mind, you can always delete your stinger by clicking the minus key under scene transition. So if it does not work out for you, just simply delete it. Now, how do you install a stinger in Streamlabs OBS? Let's get behind Streamlabs OBS then. You're gonna click the cog icon above the scenes menu then click add transition. You can name it in the next part and then select Stinger from the drop down menu. Select Browse, find your Stinger file, and click OK. Select the transition point type. I prefer frames. This might take some experimenting to get it just right for your stream for a seamless transition. I use 100 frames to get it right. Now move from one scene to the next with the Stinger in between. Now to remove the stinger, simply click on the icon above the scene and click the trash can symbol to remove the stinger. That's simple, pretty stinking cool. Now if you happen to get to this point and you're like, but Dale, I don't have any stingers or maybe I want more stingers, believe it or not, we actually have a full video. You're gonna go check it out where we actually ordered two specific types of stingers. We did one for $150 and another one for $65. How did they compare? Go over and take a look at this very next video. It will blow you away, believe it or not. They both were freaking phenomenal, but it will shock you which one we thought was the best. I'll see you right over there.